Welcome to my Out of the Problem Into the Solution video blog series. Today I want to talk about the importance of utilizing a body-mind-spirit approach with chronic pain management. You know, over the past decade there's been a lot of people that got in trouble with medication management. Many of them were not, and I repeat, were not addicted. However, many of them got tagged or labeled as addicted. We are hung up in Western medicine on the biomedical approach for chronic pain management. Although a lot of the outcome data and research and evidence supports using an integrated multidisciplinary approach. You know, to that, I want to add the spiritual component. So biopsychosocial spiritual. I think we need to work with the whole person. And I know how that's been important for me with my own pain management since 1982. I need to practice what I teach. I need to have a really good biological plan to include diet, nutrition, exercise. For example, I swim five days a week, 30 minutes each day. I also make sure that I eat healthy and I do other types of mobility increasing exercise. At age 73, it gets a little more challenging and yet I feel great. In the psychological area, this is where we need to take a look at how we manage our self-defeating thinking and our uncomfortable feelings. And we need to have a plan for that. The social area is about friends, family, and community. We don't do it alone. We need a team. It takes a team to help a chronic pain patient move from suffering and surviving to thriving. And finally, in the spiritual component, we need to be aligned with our spiritual values, practices, and principles, whatever those are for us. When we add all of those together, we can have a very effective chronic pain management plan. So thank you for your attention today. I really appreciate it. And if you have any comments or questions, please feel free to let me know.